So now let's look at the minimum viable product in the app space and in particular in the B2B app space. The company that we are going to look at is called Taxi for Sure. So let's look at the MVP principles. MVP principles, whether if it's a business to consumer facing product or a B2B facing product, could more or less be the same. So what really is Taxi for Sure? Taxi for Sure is a taxi booking platform that's similar to Uber. It will surprise you to know there are actually two apps in the case of an Uber or a Taxi for Sure. One is a customer app and the other is a driver app. For the purpose of this example, we'll be talking about the driver app. So what does a driver app really do? You know when you open your taxi booking application and you book a taxi, what really happens is that the driver is given the option of picking up the customer. And that is a business model on which Taxi Fisher operates. So let's say that you decided to book a cab from this particular place, this is the screen that you see. The access to the reject is the option that the driver has. Now there were problems that were noticed. One was that the app was too slow. The second, there were multiple taps required. And the third was there were unnecessary screen movements. Why are these problems critical for a taxi booking service? These problems are critical for a taxi booking service because this is about real-time demand that is happening. The faster you can service your customers, the more is the number of bookings that a driver can do. So fixing this problem is very crucial for a taxi booking service like Taxi for Sure. So what do the product team really do? They decide to make, do the obvious. They decide to make improvements and fix the bugs that were there. So did they just go about and jump into it and fix it? No. They decided that let's first show the driver what are the kind of improvements that could be done on the app. They introduced the concept of wireframing. Wireframing is something that you will learn later down this course. But rest assured, it is a very simple mock-up that was shown to the driver. And the mock-ups met with a lot of success. The changes were now implemented and they rolled out the changes to great success. So why is this an example of an MVP? Let's look what the natural in inclination of the product manager could have been. The natural inclination of the product manager would have been to make changes across the driver booking platform. But no, that's not what they did. They said let's identify the core issues and fix those issues first. Let's fix the issues that get us a maximum return on investment. They thus mitigated risk and reduced the total number of resources that could have been working on this project. You will be seeing a detailed discussion with Satej Sirur, who was actually heading this initiative at Taxi for Sure. And you can learn how this is relevant really to the MVP concept.